Hey, what's going on? It's Joey Myers from the Hitty Performance Lab. In this two minute video, I wanted to go over one of Mark's emails from softballperformance.com. And what Mark brings up is, is very interesting for most players and coaches. And he talks about, here are a few valuable key lessons that he's learned and been reminded of recently about confidence and how you carry yourself and emotional cr control and not losing it, not just losing it on the field, losing your temper, and the ability to flush it, to be able to take something and have a short attention span and just flush it down the toilet and communication, being able to communicate with players and players with coaches and coaches with players. And when I was reading this email, another blog post came to mind from Tony Vaney. He's from Track and Field CompleteTrackandField.com, and he did an article on the elite athletes profile, and they had like 13, 14 different things. I just wanted to read a couple of them that were pretty, that stood out quite a bit, but I think adds to Mark's email. One of, one of them, number four, is be prepared to step outside the norm or the usual and be someone special. I have a girl who this year dropped her 100 meter from 13 seconds to 12.85, and she believes it's because she has not missed a day of practice after she missed 12 last year. Number seven, lead the way to a superior performance. Regardless of your team rank, be a leader. Demand the best from yourself at practice, at the meets, in the classroom, and at home. Very important. And number 10, be able to turn your back on those who do not share your vision or do not want to pay the same price you are willing to invest. One great analogy that my coach at Fresno State, Coach Bennett, said was that you want to play with horse blinders. The reason horse bl horses, race horses, have blinders on is so that they don't see the rest of the herd or else they're going to hang out with the rest of the herd. So they have the horse blinders on so that they can just run as fast as they can and not worry about being with the rest. So as an athlete, that's what we want. And as a coach, that's what we want to have our athletes do. Again, thanks, Mark, from softballperformance.com. I appreciate everything that you do, brother. Keep up the good work.